maybe you can define those different types of biopsy. Okay, so for excision biopsy, you remove the entire mass. Okay. Then you send it to the laboratory for processing and then the pathologist will read it. For incision biopsy, you take a small tissue sample from that mass. Then mm. the pathologist will read whether it is a tumor or not. Mm. Then the final aspiration biopsy is a kind of biopsy wherein you use a small needle, a small like gauge 23, and a syringe. Then you inject the needle into the mass. Mm -hmm. Now I can relate to fine needle biopsy because you did that to yeah. me, I remember? Now, I recall, well, a needle is always a needle. So I asked Doc Annette before, why won't you put anesthesia before you do the fine needle biopsy? And her answer was simply because if we put anesthesia on the mass, it's, it's still injecting a needle and put an anesthetic solution. So, makadubli na kagtusok, why not diretsyo na lang tusok to the mass? Oh, see? So, in this one soak, two soak. Yeah. That's why, diretsyo fine needle biopsy. Yeah. So, that I understood then. Now, what is your role in the diagnosis? Because, obviously, after the mass is taken out, whether it's excision or incision or through tissues from the fine needle biopsy, it goes to you for confirmation or the diagnosis per se. What is your protocol in telling the news to the patient? The patient will get the result by, its, by itself and then the patient will bring the result to the referring doctor, mm -hmm. to her or his clinician. But there are patients who are what kulit. you call kulit. Like me. Yeah. <laughs> they will go back to me and said, Doc, can you explain to me what is this all about? Mm -hmm. That, what is the res my result? And then, of course, if it's not cancer, then I will tell the patient, Oh, ayo kaguol kay mm -hmm. dili ra ni siya cancer. So, mm -hmm. nothing to worry about. Just go back to your doctor. For example, if it's a thyroid, it's, it's a benign goiter, it's not a cancerous goiter. 